Wow, this is Sal Volcano. Wow, that's... <laughs> you asked me to bring us in. I, I did. I didn't realize. Okay. Well, this is a new venture, so I'm just very enthused. You're trying a new... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, everybody, this is Sal. All right, this is Brian Quinn. And you are listening to the What Say You podcast. What Say... Right? I love it. Isn't that what they're listening to? I think, I think they are listening to the What's, uh, what's uh, Say You What Say You, uh, listener? What Say You, Sal? That's right. Right. Which we've discussed. Let's let's talk about really quickly the origin of What Say You, which is there is really not too much. No. I think we wrote it as a joke. <laughs> uh, no. The real origin? What's, well, oh, no. Not the, what's the real origin? The real origin is just... Some girl with a... <laughs> Some girl with a great ass walked by. Oh, oh, oh! I thought you meant the origin of the actual, like, oh, no, no. actual <laughs> saying. Yeah, the actual saying. No, but you mean between us? Well, that's between us. No, no, but what say you is? is I think it's just a term, just it, an English term, an English term. And I thought yeah. you meant you wanted to go back to the roots of that. No, I just meant between like, us. Between us. Oh, I thought. Oh, okay. I thought it was written as a joke, but you're right. It was written as a joke because because of a girl with. A great ass. Right. Walked by. Right. And I, I, I think I, yeah. I said, uh. Oh, we were in an airport. Okay. Right. And you were like, well, what say you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it killed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it killed <laughs> us. It killed, it killed the whole audience that was there. <laughs> it killed the two of us. Yeah. Uh, we died laughing. Uh. And then we started saying, what say you to everything? To everything. And then I, I did it in an episode of the show. I wrote it into the sh- uh, into the show for you, like to make you laugh. Right. And did we do it or no? We did. I sang the, the What Say You song, remember? It was a Broadway play. And I was like, yeah, it's uh, Hugh Jackman. Oh, Hugh, did, Hugh, that, did that air? I don't think it aired. I don't think it aired yet. It'll probably air. Maybe it'll air. Maybe it won't. Sure. But anyway. If it doesn't, we'll get it in somewhere. What have you. But anyway, What Say You is right. a great way to talk to begin speaking about anything. Well, I've been trying. We've been trying to do a podcast together for a long time. Years, years. Yeah, um, it was originally going to be called Verses. Right? Yes, and we recorded an episode. That's yes. right. Maybe um, we'll release that. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, we're already releasing bonus hidden yeah. gems. <laughs> uh, and you know, so so we were like, well, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah. So here we are. Yeah. Well, we live close to each other, right, on Staten Island, and, and we we we're, we were around each other a lot. Yes. Just wasting time. Right. So we figure we can kind of do this thing where we can talk about anything and everything and have all sorts of fun and have guests on yes. and, and it's going to be just like a different type of thing. Right. And uh, we can talk about anything. Anything. So we, so, so here we are. We built it like, uh, <laughs> what say you, Sal? Like I'll bring a topic. Right. And be like, what say you? And then and then we'll get into it. And we'll get, just get into it. We'll mix it up. Mix it up. And, you know, nothing's off limits here. You know, I just had a kale juice. Right. So there you go. I just had an eggplant parm, so right, right away we're tearing it up. <laughs> um, and we have um, an email already set up. That's right. Oh, yeah. What say you podcast at gmail.com. And we have a Twitter set up already, which is uh, what say you pod at what say you pod. Um, you know, and we, we uh, you know, what say you listeners? That's right. Right? Yeah. Just send us send us in whatever you want to talk about. Right. Uh, whatever topics, yeah. whatever you feel, uh, boobs, uh, <laughs> male, male and female right. boobs. Male boobs, female boobs. We want just as many male boobs. I'll tell you what we're looking because right now the logo that I have up on uh, our Gmail account. Oh, there's a logo? No. It's uh, a question mark. It's a question mark. Okay. But I was like, someone surely out there. Yes. Can come up with a good logo. There's so many talented people yes. that we've come across. Uh-huh. We've seen so much great artwork. Everything from like animation to drawing to illustrations mm. to sketches to everything, right? Right. Claymation. Who knows? Everything. So we're looking for a, a kick-ass logo. We're, we're opening, it, opening up already doing two things. Right. We are pleading. <laughs> it yeah. might not sound like it. No, we're getting business no. out of the way. We're getting business out of the way. Right. We are deferring. We're, 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 we're bringing in the audience already. Yes. We're reeling them in. We already want this to be a homegrown thing. Right. We want them to be part of the show. And we are also we're trying to brand right off the bat. This is, this is 101. Well, we're taking ourselves seriously. Yes. This isn't a fucking joke. No. And we want to, you know, so we want, we want everybody on board as, as quickly as possible. So a nice logo, What Say You podcast with uh, Sal and Q. Um, 
or Q and Sal, whoever you like better, just put it on there first. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what comes out on top. And um, and this has been brought to you by Doritos. Right. We already have a sponsor. <laughs> Doritos. No. Well, but if anyone that works there or knows them, just like get through. <laughs> <laughs> again, we're not. Again, this is all on the up and up. We're not right. really. I jest when I say that we're pleading for anything. Uh, if you want to send us gifts, we have right. Amazon wish list right. set up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and what, you know, so we're excited. I'm excited. I'm excited because, uh, you know, I do a lot of, as you know, I do a lot of podcasts. That's right. Um, I'm like Wolverine. I enjoy it. We, well, we've done, you do a Space Monkeys podcast and I've done that with you and we've even done that on the road and that's a lot of fun. And this is basically going to be that, but not that because this is going to be our own kind of like, we're going to go off on a tangent here. You'll see. Well, you'll, you'll hear. You'll hear. Right. Yeah, yeah. You'll hear. And I, I enjoy doing Tell Him Steve Dave too. And we enjoy doing a Ten Loins podcast. Right. And so he, that, that's all birds from that. If we're having so much fun doing all those other things, sure. why not have more fun? Let's keep going. Yeah. Well, uh, I was listening to uh, Matt Myra's podcast and Scott Moser's Two Eyes and Beard. Uh, and I don't want to get too self-referential here. But, uh, you know, I, I know them. They're both friends. And I listen to them. It's weird because, like, even though I do Tell Them Steve Dave on a weekly basis and love it, um, I still listen to my friends talking. And I got jealous. I was like, I want to sit there and talk to my friends, which is odd because I already do it. Right. Um, and, and that, you know, it's just – I just want to keep you – I think podcasting is my favorite thing. Yeah? Yeah, I do. I'm very well poised for it to be mine. Yeah, you it's know? great. I just don't do it enough. You're gonna- I, I was always fascinated with the whole idea that people care. Yeah, you've gotten past that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when there's something to talk about. Right. But when I feel that there's not, I'm always just like, eh. Yeah. But I can listen to Stern for like eight hours straight, no matter, no matter what nothing. he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about nothing. Yeah, but I think he 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 most certainly earned that. I probably wouldn't. Yeah. I probably couldn't turn on the radio or a podcast and listen to two people that I don't know talk about nothing. Unless they do it in a, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I really don't know. This is, I mean, right now I turn myself off. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's not. Let's keep going. So, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get some opinions. Right. So, what do you? I mean, did you bring? You brought? Did you bring a to- opening day topic? Okay. I didn't do that. You didn't do that. No, okay. But I, but I <laughs> promise the listeners. Right. I will be more prepared going forward. What happened was, <laughs> we, what had happened was, right. we, we have been trying to do this podcast. So for, what What say you, Sal, excuses? Okay. So there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, not an excuse, right. but just uh, my, we've been trying to do this for like the last week or two weeks. Mm-hmm. Something kept coming up. And then you even made it so easy as to come to my home. <laughs> Right, <laughs> to do it. But yeah. I, when you arrived, I was I was trying on 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 jeans. You were Levi's. Yeah, I have no time. So now I this is a new thing for me. Now I order everything online from where? Oh man, we're not right. I've ordered <laughs> I've I've ordered from like fifteen retailers online in the last like two weeks. I'm I'm like I can't believe this. You don't have to leave your house, and it comes to you. It's like, and when they arrive, it's like Christmas gifts. Right. It really is because you forget what box this is going to be when you sure. order that much, or even if you don't, you're like, you can't wait to open it up. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, all right, if you need to return it, you can return to the store. So I can literally shop any store anywhere. I don't have to go like if if one store is not near the other store. Look, I'm saving time. I'm I'm saving life. Sure. By shopping online. It's just amazing that you've just. Just I just figured this out. <laughs> I know. I mean, people probably Chris. I'm just. This is all blowing my mind. But people probably Christmas shop. That's online. all I do now. That's all you do. I, I, I'm so versed in it that I will get drunk and order shit, and then you drunk online buy, and then shit will just come to my house. And I'll be like, you oh forgot what I you ordered. Didn't even know that I ordered it. Holy and shit! And I'll be like, wow, this is cool. Oh, I was gonna say, is it cool or are you oh, like, oh, uh, I'll stop this. Every once in a while, like, I'll order a movie and I'll be like, why am I buying movies? But, right. like, yeah, I just do it. But watches I've done. Um, and it's nice. It's like a, someone's buying me presents and it's me. That's right. Yeah. What is that noise? You this? Know, like a rattling? Yeah, it's your shitty table, bro. Is it? I got to tighten the screws? Yeah. All right. Fuck it. All right. Um, this drunk dialing and drunk texting and now this drunk... Yeah. This drunk, you're saying this drunk shopping. Yeah, I don't drunk dial or text. That I don't do. Yeah. Ever. Oh, that's not true. But. I drunk eat. Yeah, I do that too. Bad. Oh, yeah. With no, 
If I'm really drunk, my it's like I'm like right a goldfish. No, but I'm like a goldfish. So I, I don't even say let me let me stop. I'm like it's when I'm drunk and I'm like I'm hungry and I'm drunk. Yeah, my attitude is like a deep, deep fuck it. Like right. literally, like I'm like I don't fucking like, care about anything. Will fuck this. delicious. Yes, like right. fuck calories, fuck my health, fuck everybody. Who has something to say about it? Fuck them. Right. You know what I mean? Like someone might be like, dude, you're gonna eat another bag. I'm like, fuck, fuck you, fuck everybody. Right. Talk to me about this. Fuck shit. your mother. Yeah. You fucking. I swear to God. <laughs> and I don't get full. I don't. I just keep eating it, and then I feel yeah. horrible the next, next day. day I know. Like because of what I ate, not because of who I cursed. The out. worst part of that for me is when I when I'm good all day and I keep it within a, a certain calorie range and then you just go off and then I just fucking blow it and I'm like there's something in the back of your head that's like I got shit to spare (laughs) because I did good all day right but you're drunk you're not making good decisions I'll eat my food I'll eat that food and then I'll order something else I'm sure like 10% of my body weight is directly related to what I've eaten drunk over my life yeah without a doubt plus the drinks that you're drinking to get drunk yeah you know on Staten Island there's a place called uh, it's an institution at least on my part of the island uh, and you used to live there too. Go go Slovaki. Yeah, it's a. Tw- is it twenty four hours? Twenty four hours. It's a twenty four hour Greek, Greek and Indian like food, and they just right. fucking deliver. And no matter what you order, it's there in twenty five minutes. Right. Like it's not always. It's not really good. They just fry everything, right? They just. They, that's what they just have like a giant fryer. <laughs> I'm like, I'll have a gyro. They toss it in the fucking fryer. Yeah. They click it on. They deliver it to you. Um, and it has since I moved back to. The other end of the island. I used to live uh, outside of Gogo's Range, but I grew up within Gogo's Range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I moved away about a year. Oh, and you're a half back. Ago. I'm back, and now, now it's like it's just an ongoing battle not to order Gogos at, at two in the morning. This, there was a where, where were we one time? We were in New Orleans, I think, and we were starving. Right. No. No, oh, you're going back. Ten years ago. Okay. And I was I was amazed. We were in New Orleans. We were in like a Hilton and the hotel didn't have room service. Okay. And it had – oh, no, no. It did have room service but it closed. And there was no other deli, no other anything. There was okay. nowhere to get food anywhere near where we were staying. We were staying like in the heart. On the top of Bourbon Street. The hotel yes. was to the – up Bourbon Street and to the left. And like we got home left. drunk and I was like, there's got to be a place to eat. Are you talking about when you started eating people's food? I the did. Fuck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So that's how drunk I was there. Right. Yes, I ate. So we walked back into the hotel right. and we couldn't find food anywhere. And I was like, this is how it ends for me. Right. I'm going to die in New Orleans in a hotel just of starvation. Hungry. Yeah. And uh, I believe course, I have pictures of that. I think I do too. <laughs> <laughs> you would have eaten it too if you could stand. I could not stand. <laughs> Your face was in the fibers of the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> but but someone had uh, their tray outside their room, and I opened it, and it was to be fair. Right. Even though this is, Let's see if I can find why it. is that abhorrent? Like discarded food, even though it's it's not even like it's it's they just didn't want it anymore. They like they didn't it, wipe their ass with it. And no, throw it on the plate. No, and, no. right. But it, there's just something about it, and there was half a quesadilla untouched on a plate underneath that you know that that serving uh, that thing that keeps it hot, the like the plate, yeah, cover. the round silver plate, yeah. Cover, right. And I ate it, and for me, that's a huge deal. You wouldn't do that sober. Drunk Sal is very different than right than sober Sal. That was incredible. Yeah. Well, because it's like who? I mean, that's a thing. Yeah. Whose hands were on it? Well, did they sneeze while they were eating? If there was something that was half eaten, or maybe even there's even the possibility that this quesadilla wasn't touched because you know, as a, a it comes like a pizza in a plate with like slices, right. and there was a half moon of quesadilla. Like you pick up the slice you're eating when you're eating a quesadilla, right? So I mean, I had the wherewithal to realize that I wouldn't have chomped into something that was bitten. In in the truth, if you take out just being gross and like. What what we consider to be gross, you probably could have eaten everything on that plate and been completely 100% fine. Everything. Everything. Everyone could do that all the time. Sure. We're just saying that because we're a civilized society and we don't want to eat off uh, off people's plates. Yeah. Well, we're, you know, we're, in Impractical Jokers, we do this thing where we eat, eat off people's plates. Where that stemmed from, besides just like always, like, you know, just being like it's a faux pas, but we were, we were touring as the Tenderloins in 03. Three as well. We went to San Francisco. We were at a right. diner. I wasn't there for that. You were not there for that. And there was a table of Asian people, maybe like eight. And it was like 
it was like one in the morning it was after a show and we were we were at a table right next to them and it was a lot of them and it was like eight people and they got up to leave and i said to gatto i said please before they like actually take a step away from it like it, you knew they were leaving they like one like half the table was up they were getting like their bag dusting right. themselves off like the check was in the middle it was done so you knew they were leaving i said please before they get any further like just assume the role that you know they're leaving and you're just going to eat their food like you know like like hey you guys are done with this right and he did it <laughs> he did it he just walked over and just started eating over all their plates and they were like completely dumbfounded and the place you were in it had a it was a diner but it had an escalator to the top floor and you could take the escalator down and still see like the floor right. and they were just lined up like eight Asians on just the escalator <laughs> like slowly descending and they just could they, their mouths were wide open they couldn't take their eyes off just watching them yeah uh. can I say something I think you, the point is what say you about discerning Asians what do you mean? What do you in, mean discerning Asians? I, I, like they're I, I, discerning? In, in no shape. Of, like, I don't think. I don't know why people get so offended when I, if I don't know what type of Asian someone is. Oh, uh, uh, like for example, a Caucasian. I couldn't tell you what type of Caucasian they are. Like I don't know if like they're Italian, Italian versus. Well, you I don't know. Could. Canadian, European. I don't know. I don't know what they are. Mm, you can yeah. tell an Italian girl. You can look at an Italian girl and be like, she's Italian. Uh, maybe, but she could be anything. She, she could, could be, be anything. anything. And I and I would never get offended if someone said to me, "Hey, you're German." I'd be like, "No, I'm not." And I wouldn't be like, "Oh, fuck you." Well, I think the, I think the problem is that ev- like everything that we do, it's like we come from an area of having lived the life of being white, and it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, but is it because we're, we're white? If someone's offended, if I can't discern what where the, what what uh, region they're from in Asia, like if someone was like a Mexican and they were like, "Oh, you must be Korean," and they're like, "No, I'm Japanese," they wouldn't be like, "But no problem." I I just uh, I think that and how, and by the way, also how, people who do know, how do they know? I I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I I guess it's. I mean, there's definitely. It's not small that, traits that like. Sure, I'm sure it's not even small. I think it's just right. traits that we don't notice because we're not trying. Like my sister in law is Japanese, right. Japanese Japanese. You can't get more Japanese from her. Right. She speaks with the accent. She's off the boat Japanese. Yes. Um, and my brother could have told me she was Chinese, but I I don't know. I don't know any. I don't know any Chinese people, so I can't. I couldn't distinguish. Yeah. Oh, I know Ming. I know Ming Chen. Yeah. Oh, he's on Comic Book Man. Uh, no, I know I know plenty of Asian people, but I'm just saying I don't know. I wouldn't know how to tell. And here, this is here's something I'm going to do on this podcast. I don't know a lot of stuff. That's right. And I really don't. And I'm going to expose all that. Okay. I'm, I think I'm good with. Uh, <laughs> so you're going to expose your just general ignorance? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I right. think I'm good with behavioral things. Like I'm, I'm good with like interacting and be, with people and reading people. Sure. And I'm like, like that. But like, I really have a big lack of knowledge when it comes to geography. You're horrible. Politics. Right. History. <laughs> so wait, what? Just what are you good at? All those things. <laughs> okay. I'm really good at like <laughs> important stuff, right. like pop culture. <laughs> no, I, but no, I, I really, and I'm not. There's no shame in that because at at some point, everyone didn't know what they know, right? No matter what yeah. we know, we learned at some point. It's never too late to start learning. Sure, is what I'm saying. Right. All right, granted, some of these things I should know <laughs> since I'm a little kid. But. Right. Well, I mean, at what point in your life would you have been able to discern or have been taught the differences between um, China, you know what I mean, what visually – why don't I go to the internet and just look it up? Like, why don't we yeah. get into this? What have you literally typed in to Google? Because <laughs> it, it, it probably will come up. Like, people will probably answer it. Like, how do you tell? Like, how can you discern the difference? I mean, we... Just they, type it right in. I mean, they... All right. All right. Well, yeah, there's definitely a lot of racist propaganda about it. Out there. Well, if people are like, oh, you're Italian? Oh, let me guess what region of Italy you're from. Are you from Naples? Are you from uh, Sicily? Right. Like, I wouldn't be like, this fucking guy. No. He just said I was from Naples when I'm clearly from Sicily. How, he doesn't know. I, think, I just think it, it boils down to um, 
the, I don't know, dude. I think that like if you're a minority and you're in a, a, a spot where it's not only is it – not only are people like you're a minority so right away you're put in a, an odd position that you and I will never be in. Right. But then also – it's a joke. It's a form of a joke. Like people right. make that joke a lot. Right. So it's just like I think there's a lot of cultural sensitivity that goes sure, into it. Sure, that you're sure. like, look, like, all right. So you're like, uh, people don't know if I'm from Naples or I'm from fucking Rome or whatever. But people aren't like uh, making eyes. Right. And right. I, I, oh, know, these and, Naples people. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, they're not like. Yeah. So I just think that there's a whole thing that we right, right, right. are just as <laughs> white. But people. then you got a regular guy like me. Because then if you look at it this way. That whole, like, sensitivity mm-hmm. is also impeding people from – How? Well, be- because then it's like a topic that can't be broached because I'm like, be I don't want to offend anybody. But I can as – as a person who's seeking knowledge, I can't just be like, excuse me, <laughs> how do I know what type of – where right. do you – you know, like – and, you know, it, how do I know, like I, – I, I always have to defer to just saying the, the Asian person. Right, and I feel like silly sometimes about that because it's like that's like someone saying, "Look at this American." You know, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I tell you what, the internet is like. Not- you see that guy over there? Which guy? The guy from the United States? Like, no one says that. No, they do go the American though. Not visually. Not but- here. No, not here. Yeah. I don't know. I. You know what? Why don't we put that out to? How about this? Is there an Asian person? Right. Is there a Chinese person that has ever mistook another Chinese person or a Korean person or a Japanese person or any, you know, for in, in the wrong way? Yeah. I mean, I guess, right? Do you remember that? This reminds you of that episode of The Office. The Office where he couldn't even, he couldn't even tell their names apart. <laughs> yeah. He mocked her with a, with a Sharpie. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Have you ever hooked up with an Asian girl? Um, I don't know. I haven't. I don't think I have. Yeah, that's sad. Isn't that sad? Yeah, I don't know enough about them. <laughs> well, they're, they're people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look. I mean, look. Here's a little chart that someone made. Is yeah. that? Is that? That's a Chinese girl, a Japanese girl, and a Korean girl. All hot. They're all beautiful. I couldn't tell you. I don't see any differences where you could distinguish that one's Chinese or one's Korean. Yeah. But we're untrained. Like, we're untrained. But, but we want but, to be trained. But, but show me. Where is the, what is the I difference? I, mean, I don't think I They can... look, just all look like pretty Asian women. Yeah, I don't know. Like, honestly, like, where, where is, so that's why I'm, what I'm saying is, I've, I've heard that it, that's offensive. Right. If you don't know. But I just think that's so unfair. Um, because it's not coming from a place of, Right, hatred. It's it's just you and I. Oh no, I, I no, I hate Asians. I'm just right. saying. No. <laughs> just be clear about that, right? <laughs> no, yeah, no, of course not. Yeah, like it's just ignorance, right, right? Which we're trying to correct, right? Right. So if anybody out there can guide us on this, so what say you about ignorance? Maybe and you know. when it's not coming from a bad place, right? Like, let's 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 talk about that a little bit. Okay, so ignorance in terms of just plain ignorance, not yeah. hateful ignorance. Right. Not like these people don't want to work, yeah. they're all lazy. It's important right. for the people that aren't ignorant to recognize when something it, – it's one thing to be ignorant but mean well, another to be acting on ignorance, right? Well, there's like my grandmother ignorant. Who was, who was like, who was like, you have a date of black girl, I'll kill you. Right. Like that sort, of, that sort of ignorance. Right. That's That's not good ignorance. That's – that's not good ignorance, but it's also not it's, like it's like that's not like let's get a rope. And she's like, grandfathered in, right? Right. She's, she's grandmothered in. She's grandmothered in, but she's also been dead for ten years, so right. she's not affecting anybody. Right. It's it's so funny how that's also like slightly forgivable. Eh, it's just shrugged off. I think when you're that old, I, I you know what it's because society moves in in these waves of like what's acceptable and what's not acceptable, and the right. old has to die out. Right. For the new to rise, so it's just like I, it's good that it gets to a point that you could look at it with a little bit of like affection, like oh these old coots, they right. just are so charmingly racist, <laughs> you know, because they're not like my grandmother and and I wager anybody listening to his grandmother except for maybe down south maybe was never like I fucking listen, 
you ever date a black girl, I'll kill you. Also, I'll string them up in a tree. You know what I mean? And like, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, my grandmother never did that. My grandma was always just like, I'm Italian. I lived in Italy until I was like in my 30s. I know what I know. I know what I know. I know what's good. America as a whole is scary and new. So, you know, and when they moved to Brooklyn, they moved into these like enclaves of mm. like Italians. Like, you would go on the block and nobody would even speak in English. They'd mm. all be spending, they'd spend the day drinking wine and playing bocce and shit like that. So yeah, you know what I've heard? Cause I, I live in that tiny neighborhood. This is funny too. This is like that acceptable ignorance. It's like even when like someone like an old world person like that yeah. can accept the fact that they, like, let's say they have like an, like an African American friend or an, like a, you know, a Chinese friend, like, like, like my grandpa, he fought in World War II, right? Mm-hmm. Like now my grandpa was Cuban, right? But he fought for America in World War II, right. but they fought against like, you know, like, "Quote unquote," or, or, or back then when they were like in Vietnam, right? right? Like someone from Vietnam will have a, like a, like a, like a Vietnamese friend now, or something like that, and be like, they'll have to say this. They'll be like, "Oh, it's a great guy, Vietnamese guy, but he's a great guy." Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like they'll say that, like like an old world guy. Like I've heard that in like Brooklyn or in like neighbor from old people, like yeah, yeah. black black guy, good guy, good kid. Yeah, like, they have to like <laughs> right after it. They go, "Good guy, like good they gotta, guy." They gotta call everybody like, down. Like, no shit. Like <laughs> like it's so funny, and it's like totally acceptable. Yeah. Like it's like what do you mean? What like why do you have to say good guy? I don't even know that because because well, he's black so. <laughs> <laughs> it's talking about that carries certain reason, you know what I mean? It is it is I mean it's funny to us I guess, but like I said it's not but just that very notion shows that they're like well, not all black people are bad people. Right. So then why is it, why do you gotta say black guy? It's just so stupid. It's like, you know, good guy, not like, not like the bad blacks. Right. You know what it's I mean? one of the good blacks? Yeah, yeah. So if there's good, isn't there good and bad everybody? Sure. I mean, you know, like this is really what we're getting down to basically here. <laughs> The most trite bullshit. <laughs> We're all the same. <laughs> it's all pink on every the side, people. <laughs> every one of our episodes should like end with like a, a 80 sitcom <laughs> lesson. The most obvious one. <laughs> We're all the end. Um, yeah, gr- I, I don't know. I mean, we grew up. I grew up in a in a very white area and, and uh, went to school all white. Our high school, we had two black students. Yeah, we had two black uh, right. students that, that were in our cl- in our graduating class. Yeah, that, that's it, right? That's it. We, I can say that. Well, we shouldn't oh, say. I'll names. never forget their names to the day I die. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. One was a kook, and the other one was a, you know, <laughs> he wasn't a kook because he was black. He was just a fucking kook. Yeah, he was awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, like I, I don't know. Like I've never even seen. I've never really even seen racism. In action. You know? No? Not really. Like on TV. Oh, you mean yeah. like bad, bad racism? Yeah, like in, in person. Well, all racism is, is bad. You know. Well, right. Well, except because... for the, the forgivable, like, except for the ones anyone just laughs off, like we just said. Right. But you've never seen something horrible, like. Not with my own two eyes. And I don't mean that in like a Bigfoot sort of way. I don't believe it exists because I didn't see that. <laughs> Obviously, I know it exists. But like, even growing up, well, you get shit for that because even our friends like will, t- will tell you like that we have like apparently like people who, like there's people that see racism like every fucking yeah. Well, oh, I know of every day. That's what I'm saying. So that is shit that I'm always like when I hear that because as you get older, you get more diverse friends and stuff like that, and you you know you learn new people and and um I'll ask like I'll just flat out ask I'll be like to you know what 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 have you dealt with and and some of the crew on a practical jokers you know we have a lot. A lot of fucking um, non-Caucasian, uh, non-Caucasian crew members. Guys really, of every of every right. Spanish, black, uh, and I'll Asian, ask them. everything. I'll just flat out be like, because I because I'm always interested in that. I'm like, this is my experience growing up. This is it. Um, I know that shit exists, but I've just never been exposed to it or a victim of it. Uh, you know, could you tell me about it? And like, it's fucking horrible. Like, like one of the guys on our crew was uh, a little kid. In Central Park with his father, he goes and somebody just came up to them. Uh, I didn't and, want to hear this. And just started saying like horrible things worship. to him. Yeah, and it's like oh, oh that's fucking fuck. nuts. But probably a nut, a nut case. A nut, but it's just like I mean, obviously not. But it's just like just, uh, I wouldn't even know how to like to just be somebody from like you're in the park with your dad and somebody just comes up and starts just saying shit, and that's still like. That's still you're not getting killed. That you know what I mean. It's like well, what you know, I you just made me wonder if I was ever inadvertently, accidentally, or unaware of uh, accidentally racist. 
we ha- I mean, it's a law, it's a law of averages. I guarantee, like, it, even if it was subcon, not racist in a, in a, in a, in a, in a belligerent way or anything like that, but like, I wonder if anyone was ever offended by me when I didn't, when I didn't mean to offend anyone at all. I mean, go back to the Chinese Japanese conversation of 10 minutes ago. I'm sure somebody was. Is, is, is really offended about me? Really? Me's, but what would you be offended about, but that, by that? I don't know. I was only kidding. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, I think that it's hard. I mean, it's not hard for us. That's the wrong thing to say, but like we're in such a privileged position that this is, this is where I check out because like we're just, I mean, you say it all the time. You coined it. Like we hit the genetic, uh, what do you, what do you say? Geographical genetic, genetic, uh, everything. gender. That was it. Yeah. Jackpot. We're white males born in New York City. Yeah. That's it. The right? fucking odds of that. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause there's six and a half billion people on earth. Right. Right. So they'll be born. On Earth, <laughs> right, and then in the United States, right, and then in New York, right, and then be white, right, and be a male, right. I mean, it's you hit the jackpot. That's like it. the advantages that you have the second you pop out are fucking enormous, right. Um, and more enlightened people. The problem is that I don't give a fuck. Like I stop caring about shit at a certain point because, like, life's hard. even with those advantages, life's fucking hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like sometimes I get out of bed, I want to kill myself. So it's like it's, but it's just like even with those advantages, I, you know, the thing to do in that, in that position would be like to just kind of, you know, be hyper aware of our advantages and be, you know, hyper aware of how other people don't have those advantages. But it's just fucking exhausting. Oh yeah, it's no. That's hard. that's a hard thing to do. Yeah, I just you can't, can't be it. that self aware twenty four seven. No one can. Yeah, I don't even want to. I just want to play video games. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want to think about social ills <laughs> and probably like that. Like it's it, like I don't. I don't. You know, that's where I stand. But that's just beaten down. And I'm thirty seven now. I'm, I'm heading into middle age. Like I'm just ready. I'm just ready to retire already. So this is better. I was like, what say? You? I was gonna be like. What, what say you? Right, right. Play Doh. No, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Right, 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 right. No, that's that was the topic I had for you. Yeah, we could do that. Well, you want to switch? Tra- you want to go from racism to turtles? I think that's how we do it here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, then, tell. Uh, how do you tell those turtles apart? Yeah, you can't. Right? <laughs> if they didn't wear those bands, <laughs> you could not tell. You them couldn't apart. tell one turtle. And don't get upset right. with me. Right. Waving your sigh in my face. They're all green on the inside. I know that's that. Right. I get it. But like, I mean, they carry the weapons. And I know in the cartoon, Michelangelo was like, hey, dude, pizza, surf's up, cowabunga. It's, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's, it's pure genius, right? It's pure, pure genius. genius. Pure genius. Yes. But think about how arbitrary it is. Okay. I think that it came out at a time, everything clicked. But in a sense that it's pure genius, it's completely arbitrary. Like, if I told you, okay, there's a group of, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know, zebras. <laughs> they love okay. cotton candy. Okay. And they're acrobats. Right. And they live on rooftops. Okay. And they fight crime. Right. <laughs> like, I, like, how is that not just as good? Um, it could have been. They're the teenage right. mutant acrobat zebras. All right. Well, now it's kind of, it's derivative at this point. You well, no, but you that. don't know, but you yeah. see what I'm saying? I'm just drawing parallels. Like, it's, it's arbitrary. Yeah, but everything. Like, it's turtles that are ninjas that eat pizza that live on the ground. Right. Okay. It's genius. Don't get me wrong. Sure. But, okay. What about hedgehogs that are rifles, right? Like, that are, that are, that are like archery experts. Okay. Right. So they have bows and arrows. Yeah. Right. They're, they're hedgehogs. Yeah, but you're just. <laughs> <laughs> they have they have they have bows well, and I don't arrows. Understand what you're they, saying? They like, have bows and arrows. Saying? They love. Um, I don't know. They love. Uh, well, let's keep the cotton candy. I think that's great. Cotton candy. Yeah, that's awesome. We, well, we, all right, and then there you go. <laughs> yeah, but now it's derivative. You're talking about before the the turtle. Okay, but they picked turtles. <laughs> I don't but it's just like, so arbitrary. Well, I I guess, but for them, it's not. For the two guys who grit. But I don't understand your point. Like, I don't get what you're getting. Everything's arbitrary then. Yeah, I guess. The so. old man in the sea, like, you know what I mean? Like, you could just say, like, it's a guy, he goes on a boat, he catches a fish, he comes back. Yeah. It just, like, it he just, could have been hunting elephants. It just seems like there's just a couple of big pieces. Like, God, dude. Right. Turtle. Sure. He's a ninja. Wait, what? Loves pizza. Hold on one second. Billion. You're blowing my mind. Billion. You're blowing my mind. Right. Right. And it is genius, sure. but it isn't. <laughs> well, it isn't genius. Well, it's enduring. 
Sure it is. But... Do you know how they... Did you ever see the early Turtles? Like, when they were serious? You know they were serious comic first? Mm, like, they were... they were like they, There was no comedic twist. They were grim and gritty, man. It, uh, it was a dead-on serious, serious oh, comic. Yeah. Right. Um, and then they did the greatest thing they could ever do and sold out. And now look at them. Like, they, they're still... They're making a new movie now with them. They are a CGI one, another one? No, not even they already made a CGI one. Yeah, everyone didn't like that one, right? I didn't see it. The best part of the other ones were that they were those... No, a new live action one. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. And uh, Megan Fox is playing April O'Neil. Really? Her cameraman is, uh, what's his name? From uh, Job, from Arrested Development. Oh, Plays Will Arnett? Yeah. Really? Yeah, so I mean, they're, they're going, you know, they're swinging for the They fence. gotta keep it in those old school costumes. I man. think they're released. I think they already released. What happened to Gremlins? Weren't they doing that? We talked about that. Oh, I wish they would do more. They're not doing it? I, I thought they were doing it and keeping the old school stuff. I, ho- I heard that, but then, you know, fucking nothing happens. Teenage Mutant. That comes right up. Ninja Turtles movie 2014. Let's see what we got there. All right, so, okay, so they, there's your turtles. That's kind of the, oh, wow, so they went with a more realistic. But that's a that's a painting. Yeah, I think that's a concept, though. Okay. Of what they're going for. Oh, and here's the guys in the CGI costumes. Look at that. Oh, so it is CGI. Motion captured. Yeah. So it's going to be CGI. Yeah, they're going to be motion captured. So it's not live action. Well, I mean, it's live action in the phone. It's not animated. Right. But they're not li- They're not they're actual. Not. There's Megan Fox. There's April O'Neil. With the turtle. Which one? I don't know. She's still pretty, huh? Yeah. She still works. She's She's got the, the like a missing thumb or something, right? Does she? <laughs> yeah. Really? She's got a messed up thumb. It's the only thing that gives me hope. What are you talking about? Well, she married Brian Austin Green. Yeah. So wait, Megan Fox. Yeah, you, know, you haven't known one day in like thirty years. Megan Fox thumb. Yeah, she's got thumb. A, yeah. Holy shit, I didn't know that. She's got like a like a like a messed up thumb. Oh my god, it's not that bad. Okay. It's a little stumpy at worst. I don't think it's. Uh, she's not hiding it. No. Oh my god, she had some work done, huh? Oh, wow. How weird is that? Look at her eyebrows. Oh, why did she do that? Is this... People don't see what we're looking at. How do we do that? Uh, well, just... <gasps> just... Oh, my... I forgot we were recording. I know. Um, She is... I mean, absolutely stunning here. Yeah. And in this picture, it's like going to shit. Yeah. I'm sorry, Megan Fox. I don't mean to... Believe she, me. She's listening. Trust me. <laughs> I like her better here. I actually like her better there. There's oh, before man. and after Megan Fox. And she's still young. Is she? She's young. What say you, plastic surgery? Um, I'm against. Me too. I'm against it, except in reconstructive, like... Sure. Yeah. I've never seen a case go well, and I've been told that's because the, the ones that go well, you just don't know. What, uh... All right, so we covered Ninja Turtles. We covered racism. We got a, we got a lot going on in the first episode. Yeah, we got a we got. A, <laughs> I don't know what we got. We did online shopping, right? Which went into discerning races, right? Which went into uh, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> which went into plastic surgery. Which went into so plastic surgery. Well, listen. I mean, any pod, we've been friends a long, long time, but any podcast takes um, time to form into what it. Is going to be. But right, I, right. Yeah, but I feel like we're off to a good start. Yeah, right now this is a big bowl of clay. Yes. And we're just like sh- hacking away at it and just seeing where we go. We just kind of wanted to turn on the mic and just free associate right. and just just uh, wax, uh, you know. I'm excited to uh, get guests on here. That's what I'm really excited about yeah. too. Yeah, because we, we, we haven't done that on, on the Tenderloins podcast. Right. And we have a lot of friends that we'd love to just open up and bullshit with. Right. Uh I, I can't wait for that. So well, we could probably get that going fairly soon. What what I'm thinking is, uh, kind of doesn't have to be like we're not. I'm not even talking about like trying to get like big names in. No, no, in no, here. no. Just in, guests, all sorts of guests. different guests. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be from 
Should we even like talk about what, what kind of guests we'll have? Yeah, or? go go for. It. I mean, it'd be everybody, everyone from comedians and and people that we admire and and to come right. to know to everyone to like <laughs> the, like the delivery guy, like the pizza delivery guy, <laughs> to like my mom, to right. like whoever, right? I mean, I it's just it. like anything. I fucking love it. I love it. And and one of my favorite aspects of telling Steve Dave is 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 the audience and how involved they are in it. And I would love nothing more than to build that here, which is why we set up. Uh, what say you podcast at gmail.com and what say you at what say you about pod on Twitter. Did I say that right? At uh-huh. what say you pod. Yes. Yes. On Twitter. On Twitter. And what say you podcast at gmail.com. Right. And we have, we have a, we have a website, right? Well, we have, uh, what say you podcast.com. As of right now, there's nothing up there because I don't know how to put shit up. Right. right, right. Uh, but we have it. We have it. Oh, there'll be something up there. Well, as soon as someone sends in a logo. Right. That will be the first thing that goes up there. We're talking about a lot of fun stuff going on. Um, so I want to, you know, I really want to want to keep it going. And, uh, you know, I, I have a, you had an excellent idea. We could watch. Originally, I had said to you, because I've only ever seen one Fast and the Furious movie. Right. Tokyo Drift. No, you saw part one. No, I never saw part one. I've only seen one Fast yeah, and the Furious. We live our lives like quarterback. Yeah, I know that. I know that quote because because I know that quote. I never seen the movie. Oh, you you don't know about Dominic Toretto, dude. I don't, I'm, I know the legend of Dominic <laughs> Toretto, of course, uh, but I've never seen the movie. I've only seen Tokyo Drift. Okay. Um, well, to be fair, I've only, I've only seen one or two. But you know the, that. So the so Tokyo Drift. What say you, Sal? Right. Fast and the Furious. Uh, Tokyo Drift was. With a third one, and there's a character in it. This is just the hubbub that I'm picking up on the street. Oh, yeah. Uh, but there's a character in it that is, that dies at the end of Tokyo Drift, who is in parts four, five, and six, which means that Tokyo Drift takes place like after, like in the future. You, you hear oh, what I'm saying? Oh, come on. That, that couldn't have been planned. That was probably them just backing into. Well, I think they were like, well, what the fuck? Because Tokyo Drift, the only connection to the other movies is that Dominic shows up at the end. I Spoiler alert. That's it? That's it. Like in the very last. I don't think I have an interest in Tokyo Drift then. Well, hold on. I'm about to fucking, about to change that for you. All right. Because the lead in Tokyo Drift is this kid named Lucas Black, who they just signed to be in uh, parts eight and nine with the rest of the because they're all signed to, for 10 movies. No, they're not. And they're going to make the 10 movies. The Fast and the Furious 8, 9, yes. 10? Yes. It's like Jason. It's like fucking James Bond. It's beyond born. It's like James Bond. Holy gee. They, and they all signed on for them? They, all they make on. money. They make oh my money. God, they make a ton of money. Yeah. So now I don't know who goes to see them. I don't know. We're going to start because yeah, I guess what so. I wanted to do was um, – with the return, that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for them to bring Tokyo Drift and and make it make sense for me. So like I just couldn't. You're gonna play this out over 25 hours of your life and 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 <laughs> and, and, and and 10 years of your life. Yeah, you needed to find out right that character in Tokyo. Drift. Yeah, what's going on? With you have yeah. <laughs> so my idea was that I said to you was uh, this is what I want to do for an episode of uh, What Say You was I want us to sit down. Turn on the mic, record an intro, and then watch all the movies. Like watch part one, then stop, record, give our thoughts on part one. Pause, okay. Go watch part two and do that for the first for the for whatever ones are available for home viewing. So wait, so but what about if people haven't? It doesn't matter if you've you've seen it or not. Watch it with us. Right. The way if I'm at home and I'm a fan of the What Say You podcast, what I'm doing is. I'm hitting pause and I'm watching the movie with us as we go along. Yeah. So that's what I want to do. The big fucking. Fa- I want us to be brought onto the Fast and Furious because you and I used to go see the Saw movies. Remember that? Yes. That was that thing. That was a, a must. A must. Every year a Saw movie would come out. Sal and Brian would go to the movie theater see it and spend more time in, in the, the parking, parking lot, lot <laughs> afterwards talking about the fucking movies yeah, and yeah. the inconsistencies. <laughs> more- <laughs> the inconsistencies are great. I mean, we would walk out of there. Not even knowing what the fuck we just saw. Yeah, it's like I, I just watched like a like a, a panda give birth to like a dragon. Like <laughs> By I didn't the time, know when they got up there in those show movies, they got so convoluted, right. and it was just insanity that they were expecting the audience, which they weren't expecting the audience to come along. Right. I doubt it. I mean, 
they just knew people were going because the contraptions and the this sure. and that's and so it's mm-hmm. the thing to do. Like it, it, it <laughs> struck a chord with a generation of people who go, he right. saw. But you know that someone on that crew, even the writers, like who were given the task to like make the next installation right. of it, like someone cared about it making sense. I guess and it failed. But we, <laughs> we we remember how mystified we were that we were like I think it was the third one, but who the fuck knows where the cops broke into um, Jigsaw's warehouse and he had all sorts of contraptions set up and he had he had one the son of one of the cops in a safe. Yes, and he was like all losing you, air. Right? All you got to do is do nothing, and your son will be okay. And the cop just couldn't fucking stop him. Right. He couldn't stop himself from doing it. And, and he found him in the safe. When he opened the safe, that killed the son. Is that right? Either the cop died and then the safe opened and the son was okay. Whatever. Some, some, something happened. But Jigsaw, in all fairness, did say, just don't do anything. Sit down and fucking relax, right. buddy, and everything will be okay. But when they broke into the warehouse, <laughs> the cops broke into the warehouse. Like, um, I remember a point being puppet, like, all bets are off. The puppet yeah. came out <laughs> on a fucking thing and we were like, all right. So Jigsaw is dying of cancer. Right. But he takes the time, <laughs> time to make the puppet, make it so it comes out when the door At the opens. right time. Right, right, right. He's like, that's like, what he's spending his time on. Like, what is this dance that Jigsaw is doing? <laughs> like, there's right. one thing to be like, look, the healthcare system failed me or whatever. I forget his reason. That was originally it. Like, it was the doctor who right. missed something. And I don't want to – I'm going to – there's retribution here sure. and all this shit. And then you're like – and remember for years you were like, how is he Ed dying of like, cancer? I'm going to be the dead body in the room. Remember, that was the twist at the end of the first Saw movie. Oh, right. He was lying there. The whole time. And it made, like, why? Why? There's no need. <laughs> why was he like, well, I'm just going to lie in this room for eight hours on the floor and in a prone position. Right. And then we were also like, how is he? He's he's terminal. Right. And he is running about town. Sure. Hauling equipment. Pig masks. Electronics. Right. How did he Flame afford throwers. it? How did he do it? Remember, he had giant ice bo- ice blocks with like the, a giant like the Batman. The intricacy of what yeah. he did was is impossible, and we sure. were led to believe that he was doing that. It was then revealed he had like a helper, right. <laughs> which which <laughs> didn't quell. It, it, which didn't it didn't it didn't, it didn't, it didn't yeah. still didn't make sense. It didn't do a lot. There was then there was the point like where we're just like this is off the reservation. So we would go. Within the first minute, like you just hear and feel like, <laughs> what? <laughs> this is you, like you're looking around at other people to just be like, right. are we all having the same experience? And they weren't. People they weren't. weren't. They just aren't. It was like you and I would just go, <laughs> what the fuck? This, I used to love to hate it. Yeah, I used to love to hate it. And I just remembered, like one time, you and I were in a fucking. I don't say that like I'm making it up. Like we were in the parking lot for two hours yeah. on an hour and a half movie. We were just which like, either they succeeded. Oh, they succeeded greatly because yeah. we went back every year. And when they stopped making them, we were like bummed. I was like, oh man, no. Yeah, but those last ones were like it didn't matter anymore. No, like anyone was the killer. Anyone was a double crosser. Right. Anyone was not the character they said they were. Right. Anyone His like the writers went in well, there and just shit on a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, right. like they were like, it doesn't matter. Like right. whatever you want. Like you know, he's alive. Nope, he's sure. dead. No, he's alive hey, again. Whatever. No, you know what? This is gonna fly out of the air. Kill her. Sure. Guess what? She was the sister. Nope. It, it was his ex-wife's <laughs> son's yeah. third cousin's classmate. Yeah, has a degree in engineering and 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 for some reason has a pig mask. Right. And they never explained it. Didn't they right. never explain that whole phenomenon? They were just like disciples. That was it, remember? Like, he saved life. Like, some people... No, but didn't they not explain why the pig and and why the... Well, there was a pig factory at one, at one oh, point, oh, right? Like, the, like, it was a pig factory. Yeah, because one of the traps was there was a guy in a vat, and the pigs were getting, like, grinded to, like... And it was just filling up on So it. then he went and bought... Pigs. A consumer-based... A vat. Pig... Yeah. Pig mask. That's right. And, and so... And a rope. So to cape to it. That's right. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's those in between. Like, that's the Saw movie I want to see. Right. I want to see all the downtime. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, like, that would be great. All the downtime. Like a four hour like, Saw, Saw movie. Like, Saw right. 10, a four hour of <laughs> all. Like, I want to see him, like, literally eating a bowl of cereal, like, watching Family Feud, right. like, sewing the pig face to the cape. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
And like, and, right. and like his phone rings. And just going to the store to buy the pig mask. Yeah. Right? Just being like, uh, what size pig mask? <laughs> right, right, Do you have an extra large? Right, right. 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 This is, oh. no, this is, I'm not paying that for this. <laughs> uh, sorry. I, I look sorry. online. Jigsaw, I'm sorry, Jigsaw. Uh, the, the, this pig mask, uh, this coupon's not valid. Like it's, it, that's, it's, it says, uh, it says manufactured, no expiration. No, date. no, no. It does, that's the manufacturer's, uh, oh, for, for us. Now, I'm, I'm holding up a line now. Well, it? listen, it's the pet, it's the last pig mask we have. Do you, I held it to you. Oh, God. Do you want it? Can you, I'll be right back. Can you hold it I for, mean, can look, you? I'll tell you what, I'm off, I'm off at seven. I'll hold it for you to seven, but you, re, you know. Alright, alright, alright. What was your name? Brian. Brian. Okay, great. I, I mean, Brian, thank you so much. You know how much this means to me. All right. Really, I'm really on a uh, time crunch here. I'll be right back. Okay. Do you still want the cape? Yeah, uh, I, I, I keep the cape too. Might as well. Might as well. Okay. Keep the cape. All right, Jigsaw, so, but I, I mean, L- listen. Yeah. Are you all right? You don't look I'm, di- I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> you don't look I'm dying. Is, the, is, the, is this is a real truth? I'm dying. You're and dying? I need this pig oh, mask. I really can't get into why. Uh, I just, I need to play a little game. And, but, uh, okay. Yeah. But if you could just do me the va- you're gonna make me come back. You're busting my, you're breaking my shoes. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. But, all, right, all right, I'll tell you what. You're dying. Yes. All right, I'll give you the big. I'll, I'll honor the coupon. Do you accept Diners Club? Yeah. All right. You do. You do? I don't. I don't. Well, but- what is Diners Club? <laughs> I hear it all the time. I've never seen it in 37 years. Everyone's like, oh, we accept Diners Club. I don't know. All right. But that's the movie. <laughs> that's the movie I want to see. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so Saw's gone. I was always fascinated too that, like, he had to, his, his every waking moment could not be p- ven- vengeance and plotting. I think it, it was. It, but it couldn't, it can't, no human can live like that. Every waking moment can't be that. I want to see his normal moments. Like, just, just. It doesn't matter. I, I saw something on TV yesterday. I think it said the average person smiles 50 times a day. Okay. I mean, you you could be in the worst mood of your life. You could be in a tragedy. Sure. A, a, there might be a smile squeaked out somewhere because obviously in tragedy people deal with it through. Sure. Somewhere. Like people smile every day. Like people have everyday moments. You, it's it's impossible. You would be de- defying human nature to not go through a day or even a you know a couple of days without having a normal human interaction. Sure. Or a moment you can't. Right. Someone you know has got to call you, and not everyone you know is is, is plotting and based in vengeance either. Right. Someone Jigsaw knows, even his disciples. Right. Like it might be calling me, like, "What are you doing?" Ah, oh, nothing much. I just, uh, I don't know, watering <laughs> my lawn. I just saw the cutest right. kid go by on a skateboard. Like right. whatever it is, I want to see. Yeah, but he had to buy property. Like he was pretty busy, man. He was buying houses and and old zoos. Remember the last one took place in an old zoo. I love when they showed the flashbacks of him before he was uh, betrayed, like before he was right. broken down, yeah. and like he was running like Dockers. Yeah, but yeah. even but even then, like even when he was like was laughing serious. and polite, he was like so creepy and <laughs> it was so fake. What has that guy done? That that guy Tobin, Tobin Bell? Bell. I don't know. I mean, I imagine like he's probably. Let's look it up. This is a role of his lifetime. Like he was cast into like a ten sequel. God bless him. Yeah. I mean, do you remember like in the th- what one was he dead? And the poster was one of the greatest fucking movie posters ever. It was his head in a scale, or or they had a, they were taking his brain out. Remember he was dead? Yeah. Hold on. Tobin Bell. All right. 71 years old. Uh, Let's see what he's up to. Oh, God. Look at that photo. Yeah. That's 2007, too. All right. Let's see what we got. So he did a movie called Haunted. He did one, two, three. It's all. It looks four, like it's all horror five, movies. Six, seven Saw movies. Looks like a lot of like B movies. Well, once he got into now, he's a legitimate horror icon at this point. Absolutely. So well, yeah, I'm sure he's just. There's like, no reason to do anything but Saw, especially because Saw is probably constantly in production. Right. Was right. We should get him on this. We should get. Have we said it. anything that would deter him? <laughs> so no, far? we didn't say anything. We just said he's an icon. We love the movies, like you know, you know, we love going to the movies. Um, he's he can't. Look at the Saw movies. He's got to be like... Yeah, would he be able to talk about it openly? And what if he had a stance way different than that? It would be great, but... Oh, if he could just explain it all? Yeah. That would be fucking great. Hold on. See if he's on, like, Twitter or something. All right. I just want to see... Oh, that's it. That's the poster I was talking about. His head in the... Oh, wow. When he was dead. 
Because remember, in that one, he knew he was going to die. So he recorded a tape, encased it in wax, and swallowed it. So whoever was doing his autopsy, autopsy. Which that happened. Yeah, they cut him open. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, wasn't he dead for like... He was dead for the rest. After three, he was dead for all of them. So it was all flashbacks and disciples. Right. All okay. flashbacks and disciples. He was in them, but he wasn't. He was, he them, was right. dead. He was on the tapes and stuff. So, okay. Uh, Tobin Bell Twitter? Yeah. They didn't have that. Tra- do you think they had the traje- trajectory of the all of them? Or do you think they were constantly going back and just I like. Think they were constantly going yeah, back. Yeah, you could tell, right? Yeah. Was- Tobin Bell Twitter. It's official Tobin on Twitter. Get out. Here we go. 42,000. Actor, writer, producer. Does he tweet often? I tweeted yesterday. Yeah. He's out there, man. He just looks like he just retweets. Oh, there he goes. Well, I mean, he should be the first follow. That what say you yes. were, right? Yes. Of course. So let's do that. Um. So Tobin Bell will be the official first follow <laughs> of the What Say You pod. How the fuck do I log in? Hopefully he uh, – this is this is our first plotting to – and uh, we want to play a game with him. We want to play a game. That's right. I, I want to role play with Jigsaw so bad. Like I just want to put <laughs> Jigsaw in like certain situations like we just – like. but it would be great if it's, if we get him on and it's his voice doing oh, it. God, like, all right, sorry. ready? <laughs> all right, ready, Tobin Bell? Jigsaw is online in the DMV <laughs> and, <laughs> you know. Okay. Here we go. Clicked follow. That's the official the official first follower. All right. What Say You podcast, Tobin Bell. Oh, it's so great to have him on. It would be, right? At official Tobin. Very nice. Um, okay, so so just jumping back to the idea was – you put out a little spread, huh? Yeah. So the idea was once um, those – the Saw movies died off, we were briefly – there was another series we were briefly watching on a, on a yearly basis. Uh, we didn't commit all the way. but there Movies? Were like, yeah, there were like – there was like three – two years in a row that we – I can't remember what it was where we followed another series. Um. But anyway, I always felt like Fast and the Furious could pick up that slack that we've been missing in our lives of like a yearly um, go-to event. So that was the idea I had for anyway, Fast and the Furious. Like we do that for a day. De- but that's a commitment. That's 10 hours. That's a fucking long day. There's, oh, you want to do it in one day? Yeah, one day. What? What are you talking about? What, else, what, what do you mean? Is there another way to do it? I thought you meant from episode to episode. No. <laughs> well, then we have to promote it as such. Like <laughs> next week's one is the big, uh, you know, the big marathon. Because otherwise, what would you do? Like, think about it. Then they right. do seven episodes. <laughs> I, th- I thought you meant. No, no. I oh really wait. Was... So how many are there? I think there's seven. So that's more than ten hours. That's like twenty hours. Let's say the movies are two hours each. That's fourteen hours. And then you got to do the podcast for each one. Right. Oh, it's one podcast. So it again. cuts off. We go watch the movie, then we come back. And Hit record, and it's, it, it literally starts right back up. Right. So the podcast might be an hour and a half. Two hours, I'll right. say. Right. Our day would be long. But what a oh, day. Oh, that's how you want to do it. There's seven. There's six movies right now. If you don't count. You, no, you, counting Tokyo Drift. There's six with the seventh coming out next year. So what I want to do is this. All right, so there's six movies. Six. Right. So that's roughly 10 to 12 hours of viewing. Are we watching right through and taking notes, or are we stopping it to make fun of it? No, no. I, I think we, we take notes and then get on and, and record a podcast afterwards. Right? So we don't even discuss it. No, we can we during can. the movie. Can. Right, right. Just jot on We can thing. do whatever we want. We can have the, the mic right there, and if we want to stop it and talk about it, we can. You know what I mean? But but if people aren't watching along with us, basically this is going to be like Dark Side of the Moon, <laughs> <laughs> right? In a way, like we're gonna we're, we're gonna say start this podcast, yes, get all six movies, uh-huh. and then watch it, listen, mm-hmm. stop when we say stop, right. watch it, listen, stop when we say. If people actually do that, we should like 
like and can prove it, we should like have some special like right. like when you know when you eat like a burger that's like ten pounds and they give you like a t shirt. Right. <laughs> like I survived the Fast and the Furious. Right. right. Are you are you in for that? Yeah, when the fuck? Well, I was thinking about that. I want to do it sometime in October. Do we have a day off in October? We have weekends off. Do we? Sure, we only wait two weekends in October. Okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, come on, man. I almost want to start doing it immediately. <laughs> like, something no. right now makes you want to watch Fast and the Furious so bad right now. Well, you know what? We don't, you know what? I guess, technically speaking, we don't have to. Watch them all in one day. And we could no, still record but the that's, podcast. Yes, I mean, that's yes, that would be do. cheating. Like, that's the fun of it, right? Yeah, that's but the fun I, of it. But I may want to... Because by the end, we're going to be like... We're going to just be punch drunk fucking <laughs> Fast and the Furious fucking crazy. Um, guess, as of August 1st, 2013, worldwide box office. Of which one? Of, of, the, of, the, franchi- of the franchise? Franchise. You want to guess? W- worldwide? Yeah. Of the franchise? Yep. Box office. This isn't DVD sales. Worldwide box office. Okay. Uh, four billion. No, you oversold it. Okay. I mean, two billion, three hundred thirty-seven million. That's insane. Right. I mean that. Yeah. Two billion. Three hundred thirty-seven billion, yeah, million. Two point three billion, essentially. That's two point four billion. That's fucking insane. Two point four billion. And I figured six movies. They all did. I, I was figuring they all did like almost a billion worldwide, but that's insane. It's Universal Studios' biggest franchise of all time. These are the people who made Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, Jaws, right? Oh no, Jaws. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So I order this right now, right? Like I'm committing to this. Oh, it's a six pack. There's a five. Well, let's go to Amazon and find out. I mean, let's do this, right? Well, I mean, we just spent 15 minutes. Talking about it. We, can't, we can't then just be like, nah. We should never mention it again. <laughs> no, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So fast and what? Don't do this to me, buddy. This is what you might have been thinking about that they don't know about. What? We made a bet about Murder, She Wrote. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, did we ever talk about this? Well, I don't think we ever talked about it. I feel like we have. That, yeah. Okay, so. I owe you. So, <laughs> I keep saying, okay, let me just say something right now. All right. Years ago, years ago, you said, for some reason, you said, I won, Murder, She Wrote came up. Right. And you said that, I think it was, maybe it was, the series was ending, I don't even know. It came right. up, and you said that you were going to start watching Murder, She Wrote. Right. Jessica Fletcher. I said, it's got to be bad good. Right. It's got to be like kitschy fun stuff that we could mm-hmm. enjoy. You know she's a, she's an old an old you know blue hair <laughs> running around town solving murders right. You said to me uh, that you were going to order and watch the entire series, mm-hmm. not season, first yeah. season. You said you were going to watch the whole series, and can you look up how many episodes there were real quick? Yes. This is. <laughs> <laughs> you were so adamant that right. we we put a time period on it. A year. One year, right? One year. One year, yeah. <laughs> How many episodes are there? They're hour-long episodes. Right. How many episodes? Um, ran right. from 12 seasons, 264 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to watch 264 right. episodes in one year. In one count. Year. <laughs> which is, which is an, more than more than one. It, it's, more, it's more than like right. one every two days. Right. You can if you watched one every other day, you would lose. Right, right. That's right. You'd have to watch it for basically sixty six percent of the of every day of the year. <laughs> and you were like, ah, I got this. I'm going to bank a few. They're not right. really an hour. They're like forty two minutes. Yeah. Blah blah. You said one year. I'll do it. And we said, all right, let's make this is going to be a huge thing because you were so serious, and I was so right. sure you wouldn't do it. <laughs> and we were going to bet like money, and what yeah. we decided was, yeah. at the end of the calendar year. If you did it, or if you didn't, the the loser <laughs> right. would pay for the winner. A murder mystery to, dinner. To go to a murder mystery dinner. That's right. And you watched six episodes. <laughs> it was 
It's, it was unwatchable. <laughs> like the first two or three, you call me up like, I got this. <laughs> it's great. She's running right. around town. Uh, it's like she's got a sense of humor. Right. You know, she this, got wacky. This, this, you. Yeah. Mm. It's great. I'm going to do it. And then like that week, it was the most... It was the most anticlimactic thing. It was too hard. You didn't even like every episode is the fucking same. Yeah. Every twelve seasons. Is the same. Twelve seasons. Lansbury. I wasn't like referring. whoa. I love her. Lansbury like whoa. What did she do? She well, does nothing. She's like a to Tobin no, Bell. On Broadway on Broadway like two years ago. Yeah. She was great. Yeah. My mother. I took my mother. Yeah, she's too. a real deal actress, I guess. Yeah. But the show is bad. It's, I guess of its time, maybe. I think because that was the a shit. Weekly watching, yeah, with seven days between the next episode, yeah, you loot like it's kind of homey and familiar, yeah. But like our show, <laughs> oh my god, it, dude! She, she, I mean, of its time though, that murder she wrote was yeah. the shit. Like murder she wrote was like a big, yeah, like a big deal. Like I remember, like it was like appointment television for my mom and grandma, right. Yeah, that was like, it. Shut up. Like half the shut up. I'm, go- I'm going to Cabot Cove. <laughs> right. And Shh. like, because back then, like, there was only like, like seven channels. Seven channels. Right. So it was limited viewing. Uh huh. And there was no rewind, no pause, no right. DVD. I don't even think there was like VCR. You got repeats during the summer. So if you missed the episode, you had to catch the repeat of that right. episode during all the th- summer. All through the summer. Right. And then like, that's it too, because if a phone call came in, like there was no like. You remember that when when TV used to stop? What you would do for five months out of the year? No, remember? Oh yeah. Like, you would hit the summer. And you'd be like, shows are over. There are no shows There's on. No shows. The summer. It's all fucking repeat. How about just at like one a.m. where it was just like, yeah, we're off the air now. Yeah. That's it. It was just That's like crazy. literally like beep. Like we're going off the air. There's right. no programming. That's inter- There's or, no. There's no. Or program- they would do like um, infomercials. Yeah, but there was. But before infomercials, there dead. was off the air. Right. Dead air. Mm-hmm. Right now, I watched, there's a show <laughs> on TV about, like, shoelaces. Like, right. it's like, an, oh, there's, yeah. a, there's a network about shoelaces. That's why we can't. That's <laughs> why <laughs> <laughs> so we can't. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Let's not complain. Yeah, but no. Uh, no, but so and then if the phone rang too, like there wasn't even it was it was like no pausing. If the phone rang, you answered it, right? Just like if, like there wasn't there was no like like I don't answer the phone, right? I do not answer the phone. I answer the phone for, I mean, five people right. tops. My parents. Like you, like that's it. Like otherwise, I'm just like I'll get it later. I whatever it is, right. I'll get it later. If it's important, they'll text me that it's an emergency. Please call me. Or, otherwise, right. I don't need to talk to you right now. Right. Like I have on my cell phone, I have like five to ten thousand texts a month, and I use like three hundred minutes, mm-hmm. like ten minutes a day, and that's not even ten minutes a day. That's right. like one day where I end up getting caught up on the phone. <laughs> but and then you'd have then you have to choose whether you were gonna miss if if Jessica Fletcher. Like where she got her next clue from, or if you're gonna go answer it, right? And and then you know, man, mm. people used to answer the door too. Like I don't even like to answer the door. Oh, no, somebody rings my doorbell, yeah. and I'm like a witness protection. Who the fuck is that? I'm like the balls who of kn- this fucking person. Who, who knows I'm home? Crap. Who knows I'm home? What what could possibly they they booked passage to right. get to my house? Like, <laughs> like what has brought them to mm. my house? It's definitely. It, it's got to be one of two things, right? No one rings your bell unannounced. No yes, man. It's got to be either the meter reader, right? Either Which, like, why are they still doing that? Uh, either UPS, like either the post, right. like UPS, or it's got to be like someone soliciting something or a murderer. Right. Those are the three or, things. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Ding dong. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Or a <laughs> Do murderer. You want to play a game? Murderer. <laughs> it's that, like, it's either the UPS or Tobin Bell, mm. and it's or and it's Tobin Bell acting like the UPS guy. Right. You hear that on the news. That's right. You know. And you open up the box, and there's like a bear trap in there that fucking jumps on your face. It's so insane. I don't. I literally because you could see my door has like a plate glass window on it. Yeah, I don't know how you live with that. Oh my, when I first moved in, I was like, I was going to just blacken it out. Yeah. But then it was like depressing. So I just like, it's like frosted with these areas. Of I it could see right into your house when I come you, up to you your door. Can, you can, you yeah. can. So like when someone rings the bell, I like sneak, <laughs> <laughs> I'll sneak down, the, down my hallway right. to the, just to the point where I could barely see the door. Uh. Now, if I can't make out who it is, I've, I do this. This is what I do. Yeah. If I can't make out who it is from that point, I get 
I get down on my stomach. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I get down on my stomach and I go out this way right, right. here. And so they can't see me at that point. And then I, I, I crawl. I crawl in my own home like it's a prison. <laughs> I crawled to the bay window <laughs> right. that you all would just make it in like Yeah, yeah, my balls are right there. And I peek out over the bay window mm-hmm. onto the front door and I see who it is. Right. And uh, sometimes it's been friends who stopped by unannounced and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not answering it. Yeah, I hate that. I'm not answering it. I've never done that to you. No. Then no, I'll no. never do that to you. There's really no reason to come over unannounced. There's no. no reason. If I'm heading to someone's home, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, right. I'll just say, I'm, hey, where, hey, what are you doing? I'm in the neighborhood. Yeah. I would never go to someone's house. The way that society has changed, like if I rang the ba- like people would be like, "What the?" F-? Like even if they did open the door, I'd be like, what, "What's the matter?" Or "What? What's going on?" Or "What do you what, like?" In cry- like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. I was on the phone. I was on the phone with a girl this one time. I wasn't hooking up or anything, but her doorbell rang while, while we were on the phone, and uh, oh, it's this guy that she had been dating, and I'm like. I was like, oh, she's like, yeah, he came, it's, it was Sunday, because he just came by with the Sunday papers. And like, unannounced? Unannounced. And I was like, what do you mean? I was like, she's like, no, he just came over. He's like, yeah, I gotta go. He's like, we're just gonna hang out, have some coffee, and read the paper. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh I mean, she lived in Manhattan, so I guess like it was just there. But I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, what an intrusion upon my fucking life. I know. Like, I don't want to read the papers with you. Like, go away. I know. But then, like, I texted her later in the day, and I was like, how's that going? She's like, oh, no. She's like, I I took a shower, he read papers, and then we went for a walk in the park. And I was like, this is an unplanned Sunday morning. Right. He shows up with papers, and they go for a walk in the park. What the fuck? I feel like she knew he was coming. She didn't. She didn't know he was coming. What? I'm telling you, she didn't know what so he's going Because your reaction right now was my reaction at the time. And I was like, what are you fucking talking about? Well, he got a fistful of papers. He went to the local market. He bought, you know, the Times, the Post, the Journal. Right. He was trying five bucks. Right. He, he has them. He's toting them. Yes. Right. He shows up to our house. What yeah. if he rings the bell and A, she's not home. Or B, she's like, oh, well... I didn't really plan to spend I, hours reading the print. I asked all these questions. and like, Would he feel foolish? I think that they had just started going out, so they were in that phase of like shit like that is, I guess. But it's also weird in a phase like that. And so that's, a I leap, would, that's a leap of faith. Right that now. would be a deal breaker for me. I've, a girl shows up at my house unannounced? Yeah. A deal deal breaker. My mind would be blown, not only if that happened, but if, it, if she had the papers. And she was like, I just figured we'd sit and read <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, you know what I think happened? What you said. I think it was like, hey, I want to know if you want to do something today. And then she took a shower and the paper was for him. That makes more sense. Maybe. To be like, hey, let's – because you know how – I question that. Couples I, get up on Sunday and read the paper. That's like a known thing. But I was questioning. I was like, what do you I – was, I was just like, what do you mean? He just – every question you just asked, I asked. Yeah. And she acted as if it was like nothing – like nothing odd. Yeah, like the the Rolodex of of things that goes through my head when a doorbell my doorbell sounds. None of them good. Imme- first of all, you immediately like get tense. Yeah, like you do a, like a, a slow crouch. Yeah. Like a, like and immediately you crouch a little. Yeah, like and look both ways. Like, it's like when I drop something in my house and my cats go like yes, like they yes, freak yes, out. Yes. They're like, whoa, what I'm just like, whoa, 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 right? Oh shit, what the fuck is this now? Yeah, you know, and then you like come up and you're like. Now, who could this be and what do they want from me? Right. It's always like, what do they want from me? Uh, you know, like, what? Well, someone's ringing the bell because they want something. <laughs> right? From me. <laughs> from me. They aren't ringing the bell for no reason. They right. have a reason to ring my bell. It's not like in that back in the old days when, like, the, like you know, the door, some people didn't close the door. Like, they, well, even now, like, the screen door stays open. Mm-hmm. There's a screen on. The old neighborhood. Like yeah. where people would say something like, uh, good guy, black guy, but good guy. <laughs> right. You know? <laughs> right. Like they, they were just like, well, you, you'd be in and out of people's houses. You'd be borrowing sugar. You'd be doing all that shit. Sure. But uh-uh, nowadays, man, I don't even answer the phone if it's not programmed in my, in my phone. Let me tell you something. If, it, if, it's, a, if it's just a number, that I've, person will never speak to me. I've been getting furniture delivered in the past few days. Yeah. So I had to answer the phone. For numbers, because it might have been the driver, and every time that phone rang, I was like, "Oh, like who? Who?" Because you, it's roulette, right? Could be anybody. It's it's unknown dialer roulette. Could be fucking anybody. And our phone number 
gets fucking tossed around. Because we got to right. do a radio interview, so we got to call, we got to do this. Well, I, half of America has my cell phone number at right, this point, right, right. and it could be fucking anybody. That's right. Uh, um, I wonder how many people pick up the phone mm. when they, how many people are like us? Like, if, could I dial a number right now? And you think people will pick, like, let's say, let's say I dialed five random numbers right okay. now, which I'm about to do. All right. And how many of those five people you think will pick up and how many will go to voicemail? All right. I'm going to do it. Dollar random number. All right. So while you do that, Fast and the Furious, the first five movies are on Blu-ray in a pack for $38.16. I order that, right? Because, well, what you got there is, are we going to want to see special features and stuff? I know you don't like that uh, shit. Yeah. I'm probably, I mean, we got a lot of work to do. Well, then, do, well, do, well, we do want to watch in Blu-ray, though. That's the big yeah, thing. Yeah, we yeah. want a most pleasurable viewing yeah. experience. So let's order the Blu-ray. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to order that. And then sometime in October, we're going to spend the day tearing through. All right. We're already in the hole for $40. More, because we registered the, the, uh, okay. the domain. <laughs> so, yeah, we're already in the hole. But that's all right. All right. I'm going to dial a random number. Okay, go. All right? I mean, even even the area code. Um, yeah. I bet you you don't get someone. Really? Yeah. Well, I want to make sure I dial the right, the right area code. So one, say 908. Just dial any number. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Oh. All right. Hold on. Random number. Oh, I should have blocked my number. Hi. Hello? Hey, Hey, who's this? Huh? Who's this? I'm doing English. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you Asian? Oh, damn, I thought we were going to get some clarification. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Holy well. shit, wait a minute. This phone is dawning on me right now. Our phones are just a conduit to... It's just dawning on you now. <laughs> to anyone on Earth. Right. Like, people are like so like... Like, I could sit here all day right. and dial a number and just... If the person chooses to talk to me, right. they choose to talk to me. All right. That's literally it. Mm-hmm. Oh. But why have I never thought that I could just call anyone? Like it's 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 globe. It's global. You can call Iraq. Communication. You can call Iraq roulette. Right now. Right. It really is. Yeah. Anyone can answer. Anyone. I could answer someone in a foxhole right now. Could answer. I could. I could answer someone's cell phone might get go right. off. That's at the altar. Right. I could call someone right now who is literally in the shower and will answer by because mm-hmm. it's like, oh, shit, someone's calling me. We can call. I mean, it's the possibilities. I'm blowing my own mind. It's the most simple thing <laughs> in the world. But I, I've been I've been sitting here like looking for inspiration at times. Right. And you could just fucking dial a number right. and, a, and a live human who has their own past and history right. and everything is going to pick up the phone and you're going to interact with them right. and you're going to build something that was not there before. I love to see this fire you got, buddy. I, I wonder how it's going to work out. It's amazing to me. We'll try it again. We'll try it again next week. Well, I'm going to try it right now. All right. Try it one more time. I just want to see. This is built off of seeing if how many people will just answer their phones cold, right? You know, yeah. That's all this is. But this is this is forget it for me. The number is, you have dialed is not in service. Uh, yep. right, we're gonna get that a little bit. <laughs> I don't know real area codes, so I'm just making them up. I like. I mean, we can find them. You have reached the voice mailbox of Troy Edwards. Troy, <laughs> what's going on, Troy? Um, this is Sal and Q. We were we were just dialing a random number because we were having a debate 
if uh, how many people in this day and age, if they see a number come up on their phones that's not already stored in their phone, if it's just a cold r- number, right. would they pick up? Because we're talking about how society has changed and how <laughs> I would never pick up the phone if I didn't know someone that wasn't stored in my phone. So we decided to pick up the phone and to call a random number, and we just made it up out of the blue, and we got Troy Edwards's voicemail. And you didn't answer. Yeah, so I don't know if you just didn't see it or if you... Right. Saw a number you didn't recognize and didn't pick up. In which case, which is what we have to assume. If you can call us back and well, let us know. Yeah, well, no, he's not. a number in the thing, doesn't he? No, I. I, I oh, you blocked it? I uh, blocked it because I don't know if Troy's a crazy. Right, Troy might be a nut. All yeah. right. Well, maybe we'll call you back, Troy. Oh, yeah. We have his number. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing. I'm going to put down your number and I'm not going to harass you or bother you in life. So don't worry about that. But I'm going to call you back one other time from this number, from right. a blocked number. If you listen to this message and you hear it and you think you want to pick up and talk to us, right. pick up. If you don't, then I, and I, I the well, story no. of you and I has come to an end. Troy. Okay. All right. All right, Troy. Troy Edwards. Thank you, Troy. All right, buddy. Bye. All right. So we got to wrap up this episode. Yeah. The first episode. What say you? Smashing success. <laughs> Is it? I think so. Wow. Well, I have fun. But, uh, you know, we covered a lot. We ended with that. Just, had, I, I'm excited good. about that. That is. That's a good That's a good thing. That's a lost start. Uh, anything else you want to say? Um. Well, let's just plug anything that we need to plug. Uh, are there Cut plugs already? Well, well, at least the show. We should still plug all of our shit. Yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead. Plug away. So, uh... We'll wrap up now, but not before saying that you can check Q and I out uh, with James uh, Murray and Joe Gatto in the Tenderloins Comedy Troupe. Mm-hmm. We tour uh, the greater United States uh, doing a, a, st- a live stage show that's influenced by Impractical Jokers and also has elements of other things in it. There's a little something for everyone. So that's on the tenderloins.com. Check it out for tour dates. And then, of course, Impractical Jokers is on True TV at Thursdays at 10 o'clock that's Eastern. Right. Uh, we are in the, currently uh, in new episodes right now. It's our second season. and uh, <laughs> It doesn't feel like it, does it? <laughs> it does not. It feels like, like the 10th season. But, yeah, that's Thursday nights at 10 on True. And you can follow us at the Tenderloins on Twitter or at Sal Volcano or at BQ Quinn on Twitter or at what say you pod or at what say you pod, which you is go. this podcast. You can email us at what say you podcast at gmail.com. Right. We're, we're looking for topics, artwork. Yes. Logo. We're looking for a logo. We're looking for some branding. We want you guys to help. We want you guys to be there with us from the start on this. Right. Uh, and uh, I guess that's it. And that's it. All right. What say you listeners? What say you listeners? Tell them, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That Rome wasn't built in a day But how come everyone is rushing to get ahead And if I seem to be reserved, that's just my way Your questions seem like you're interrogating me Yeah, I try Then again, I don't try I get an F for effort I get a D next time Uh-huh, uh-huh I heard the lemon metaphor four million times And I don't stand for lemonade, don't ask me why And would a beverage stand be a job that be desired? And where would I get the wood and should I try? Should I try? Then again I don't try I get an F for effort I get a 65 yeah, I try, yeah, 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 then again I don't try Again, F for effort I might as well just Uh-huh, uh-huh I 
currency don't grow like leaves on trees Then how come my money comes and goes so seasonally And I wish farmers planted plants instead of thieves My friend pays a ton of green for greener groceries Yeah, she tries Then again, she don't try She gets an F for effort She'll plant a tree next time Yeah, she tries Then again, I don't try I get an F for effort I get a D next time Yeah, I try Yeah, I try 